And we have a go for auto sequence start. T minus 17 seconds and count. All systems are go. Start. Two, one, boost ignition and lift off. It's time to charge up with Victor Pisano. Hey everybody, it's Victor Pisano with Charge Up. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this week's edition of the PowerCast. There's a Japanese proverb that says, fall seven times, stand up eight. The funny thing is, every time that I hear this quote, it reminds me of a Rocky movie. And it doesn't matter which one you watch, that guy gets knocked down at least 20 times in every fight. And each time, it's a knockout blow. You see it in slow motion and everything. He looks unconscious, but what does he do? he gets back up. You know, I vividly remember going to the movies to see the first Rocky back in 1976. You know, every kid wanted to be a fighter after that. We all wanted to be Rocky Balboa. For me personally, until around Rocky V, because I couldn't believe the guy could even fight anymore. But the thing is, it inspired people. Because this average Joe comes out of nowhere to become the heavyweight champion of the world. He did it through hard work, perseverance, and a commitment to his goal. Tell me this quote from Rocky doesn't make you wanna run up the steps at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. He says, let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very nasty place and it'll beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you are because of him or her. Cowards do that, and that ain't you. You're better than that. Imagine walking into work on your first day and your manager tells you that. You see, that's the person that I want leading me. No frills, no BS, just an authentic person who tells it like it is. And in my opinion, that's what leadership is lacking. And that's teaching people to go just one more round. It's like the fear of failure is becoming an epidemic. And we as leaders, we're not helping the matter because we're focusing on the stuff that doesn't fit into the final outcome instead of giving people the support, the faith, belief, tools, and resources to get up and go one more round. Senior leadership rates you on some arbitrary scale of performance without ever really connecting with you as an individual and getting to know what your true strengths are. You know, a person fails a couple times and they want to move to another job because they've either lost faith in their ability or don't think they're contributing. Now I get it, you're going to call them a quitter, but isn't the obligation of a leader to lead, to build the confidence and perseverance of those they lead to get up even after they've fallen down? Do effective leaders not see the return and investment in just building people up? We aim for skill and forget that at the end of the day, it's the person with a tremendous sense of will that's going to win the long race. And they win it because they're always willing to fight one more round. Now, I'm not going to be a Pollyanna. There are absolutely people out there that talk big and walk small. They can't handle the pressure or patience to chase greatness. As for them, a good leader has to have the difficult conversation. Cut bait and just move on. It's life. But we're giving up on some people way too soon because we as leaders are too lazy to do what we were hired to do. And that's build strong teams, which consist of committed and talented people. We need to build the character of those we lead the same way that Mickey did in Rocky's Corner. Remember when he told him, you're gonna eat lightning and you're gonna crap thunder. Do you know how many meetings I would have presented better had my manager have told me that prior to? You see, my like father, he, he, he didn't have a college education, but he would always tell people that he got his degree from the school of hard knocks where you get hit and you've got no choice but to get up again if you want to be successful. You know, how true are those words? Even with a college education, we all could use a master's degree from the school of hard knocks. As a leader, you know, we preach about the successes that come out of failure. Say it until you're blue in the face, but failures are the stepping stones to success. Instead of telling someone everything they did wrong, ask them what they did right. Trust me, they'll become more vulnerable and honest. They'll tell you if they're lacking confidence. You'll learn more about them as a result of your empathy than you ever could simply following a training manual. The difference between good leaders and great leaders, it's simply their ability to connect, to know those under their mentorship and invest in them. You failed, why can't they? You had a rough road, allow them to make the journey. 
but simply be a leader. Be a great leader. Encourage, inspire, and guide those that you lead towards success. Your job is not to simply lead, but rather to inspire others to lead. Inspire them to go just one more round. Bottom line, lead according to the words of Rocky Balboa. Going in one more round when you don't think you can, that's what makes all the difference in your life. Go do big things today. Make an impact. I'm humbled to lead. Have a great week. If you want to learn more about Charge Up, go to chargeuptoday.com. Have a great day and don't forget, my friends, Charge Up. Roger, we'll stop. That was a picture perfect end to a top fuel mission. Everybody, welcome back to Earth. Thanks for listening to Charge Up with Victor Pisano. Subscribe to the podcast at chargeuptoday.com.